Scenario. You've run away from home, you don't know where to go, and a really rich girl picks you up and goes, listen, come and live with me in my mansion. It's gorgeous. My dad is really rich. And it's all great and good, but then her stepbrother is really, really, really hot. Wait, you did that to me? What? Yeah, my house got robbed and you were like, come live with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it worked out, didn't it? I was like, yeah, come live with me. I don't, I don't bite. Hmm. I bite. Yeah, you bite. <laughs> yeah, I guess like lock your doors because I'm not to be trusted. This is crossing the line. You guys would not let me not finish it. So here we go. I'm in the brother's bathroom in a little towel. Bentley, I need to use your shower. Hello? Hmm, I guess he's not around. I've never used this shower before. Oh, what, what, do, I don't really know how they, these nozzles work, these dozzles, these these rich people showers. I just, well, don't mind if I do. Stripping down, ready to go. Holy crap, what are you doing? Oh, I totally didn't mean to do this. <laughs> I totally, <laughs> this wasn't on purpose. I, I didn't actually see you in the room and did this on purpose. I'm, I'm a good girl. Oh, I'm so sorry. Poppy was using the shower even though I called dibs first. So I went to use yours because you know how long Poppy takes to get ready. And she said I could use yours and, and, and I called you and you didn't answer. And then I was like, oh, pretty shower. And I, I, girl, chill, take a deep breath. You're rambling. <laughs> it's not funny. Oh yes it is. Seeing y'all frazzled like this is great. If you wanted to make a move on me, you could have just said so. Oh. I can either say you wish I was or I wasn't. I'm gonna say you wish I was just cause I wanna... These are both very like, I'm not coming on to you moves and I'm not a big fan of that. Maybe you wish I was cause then he'll be like, well, it gives him an opening, you know? Make a move on you. <laughs> Trust me, Bentley. When I make a move, you'll know. I don't keep it a secret, okay? I'm a flirt. I flirt for sport. It's who I am. Take it or leave it. Oh, would I now? And what would that look like? Wouldn't you like to know? I mean, I could show you if you want. I, I, I should be going, this is getting a little awkward. Don't think about it too much. As I pull myself together, I get distracted by this shirtless Bentley who stands before me. Whew! This guy must live at the gym. His shoulders glisten from sweat. He must have been working out. And God, does it show. His perfectly sculpted body makes my knees weak. Hmm. Now who's checking who out? Oh, please don't flatter yourself. I was just looking at your, your ugly... I mean, there's nothing ugly about you. I hate boys like this because you can't bully them. You know what I mean? Like, when I was in grade school, there was this guy who would, like, bully me all the time for things that were weird about me, especially, like, before my grow-up, there were a lot of things to bully me for. And I couldn't bully him back because he was perfect! I'm just gonna go wait for Poppy to get done. Unless you want me to use your shower in. <laughs> it's fine. You can use my shower. I'll be in my room. Oh, wait. Um, we're planning to go to this beach party tonight, and Poppy wanted me to let you know, because you are looking after us. Yeah, a few old friends heard I was in town and invited me. <gasps> he got invited! The problem is though, is that Poppy, my friend, is trying to set me up with this like trust fund kid here, but I want her brother. So I'll be going too. <gasps> oh, how fun. Hey, I might need your opinion on something. I'll bring it to your room after you shower. Oh, what, what, what could he want my opinion on? Come in. Hey, I saw you didn't have any cute swimsuits. So you can have one of mine. Even though I'm trying to steal her brother, she's such a good friend. Like, yeah, she's got a few loose ends. Yeah, she's super spoiled, but like, she's got a good heart, you know? I don't remember buying it though. I buy stuff all the time and I just can't keep track. Maybe someone left it from a party? Anyway, it's all yours. Thanks, Poppy. Okay, oh, it's a hand-me-down situation. It's one of your other rich friends left it at your house and now I'm wearing it. Ta-ta. Why am I always getting stuck with Poppy leftovers? Oh my goodness, I'm so spoiled now. I'm like, you've got money. Buy me the stuff, Poppy. Come on. Knock, knock. Can't these people let me get dressed? Poppy, I think I have another- Oh, Bentley. Hey, sorry for barging in. I just saw Poppy basically skipping down the hall. Uh, I'm a little uncomfortable going. These sorts of things aren't really my scene. Like the bonfire that I'm saying, I, it's just- I'm like a really chill, laid back, introverted, you know, book reader kind of- dream guy and like these parties are not really my thing. I have a pair of swim trunks and they're a bit stylish but I don't want to stand out. What do you think? Okay, well, I mean, you're really standing out with those very, very green leaf trunks. No way. I mean, they look cute on you, that's for sure. I have a bathing suit that matches that. Turn around. But I've already seen you without any- Okay, Bentley freaking Banks, 
Look at the wall right now. This isn't an all you can eat buffet. It will be later, but not right now. It was worth a shot. You're a pig. Okay, turn around. What do you think? Ooh, ooh, you look amazing and, and we match. Yeah, we kind of look like a, a couple. I know, cute, hey? Look at that shrimp shell, oh. Matching Bentley at this party would be the cutest. Okay, this would be a really, really good way to like let Poppy know that I'm interested in her brother. I mean, I've been very, very upfront, but she's a little slow, so she doesn't really get it. So I'm gonna spend the remaining gems I have and match with Bentley. We're gonna look so cute. And he's excited about it. Hey, what are you doing? Eating some leftover pizza before we head out. Want some? I can say, yeah, pizza is life, or no thanks, I'm not hungry. I don't wanna have like a food baby for the party tonight. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, eating pizza with him because you know what, we're, we're just trying to have a good time together. Of course, I can never turn down pizza. Look at that big, flimsy, cheesy slice, yummy. Let me guess, Poppy's still getting ready? Yeah, we'll be lucky if we get out of here in the next hour. I have a friend who's just like this. She's like getting ready and she takes like, actually, like she makes us so late to everything, but she always looks on point, so it's worth the wait. Listen, I just wanted to say thanks for deciding to match me. How could I not? We look adorable. And don't think I didn't notice how you were looking at me in this. Um, well, I was, uh, nice save, Benny. You were drooling. You are obsessed with me. Just go ahead and say it. Say you love me. Just say it, Benny. I usually cringe when Poppy calls me Benny, but it's not so bad coming from her beautiful pair of lips. I should go check on Poppy. Hopefully she's almost done. I can't flirt too much, okay? I'm playing, I'm playing some hard to get. Dang, I do hate to see her go, but I love to watch her leave. Okay, that is the most cliche, horrendous thing. I hate when guys say that, but whatever. I'll forgive it because he's cute. Gloom, come on, I see Preston. I don't like Preston. Before you go, there's a two drink maximum for you both. And how many shots? <laughs> Poppy, no shots, two drinks, that's it. Whatever, I'll just make sure they're extra strong. Oh no, she's gonna get us the strongest drinks there ever were. Aren't you coming? Yeah, these sorts of things usually aren't my scene. Like, if it's an inside party, usually because there's a dog or something and I can just like pet the dog in the corner, but this is very, uh, ooh. Hey girlies, I'm Marissa, glad you made it. Hi Marissa. Oh my God, Poppy, you didn't tell me your brother was going to be here. He is such a snack. Well, may the best woman win, Victoria. A snack? He's a whole meal. Do you think you could introduce me? Hmm, maybe later. So, when are you going to talk to Preston Gloom? Hopefully never. He's not really my type, Poppy. But you guys would make the cutest couple. Plus, marrying into that family would guarantee socialite status for life. Yeah, I know another family that I want to get involved with too. I'm gonna get a drink. Hmm, where is Gloom going? You guys see that girl who just walked off? We're so gonna get it on tonight. Preston is the last guy I'd think Gloom would be into. What makes you think that? Poppy's been trying to get us together for a while. I think tonight's the night, dude. Bruh, I'm Chad. <laughs> You're either blind or just dumb. She's not into you. <sighs> That's a relief. Wait, why am I relieved? You asked her out like five times and she turns you down every time. <laughs> oh, surf's up. Get the hint, bro. Nah, she'll come around. If a girl turns you down that many times, you should just respect her and leave her alone. Preston has always been a dog and she deserves better. You guys must have forgotten who I am. Every girl wants me and I've got looks and the money. I'm leaving. Too bad he doesn't have a brain, am I right? Ugh, I hate that I have to pretend to drink around Poppy's friends. If I tell them I don't drink, they'll wanna know why and like I hate the situation. I hate the way it smells, the way it tastes, the way it makes me feel. I come from a background where you know, it was very present and I just don't, I just don't want to be involved with it. Most of all, I hate the way my mind floods with the flashbacks of my parents every time I'm around it. I hate alcohol. I hate everything about it. Hey, pretty girl. I hear a deep voice behind me and I turn around only to be disappointed by the face attached. Oh, it's you, Preston. Don't sound so down. Were you expecting someone else? Actually, yes. Anyone would be better than Preston. I was hoping to see a certain someone though. What do you want? Oh, come on, smile, buttercup. Ooh, this guy is just, ooh, he's disgusting. Poppy said you'd be happy to see me. Be up front and turn this jerk down or sugarcoat it, even though he doesn't deserve it. I'm turning him, I'm being up front. I am, yes, a girl code breaker, but I am honest. Look, I'm not in the mood to deal with you today. I don't know what Poppy's been telling you, but I'm not interested. We're too different and I'm not into guys like you. Sorry, but like, oh, that's the truth. So if you could take the hint and stop pushing yourself on me, that'd be great. Who do you think you are? Turning me down all this? Do you even know who I am? Unfortunately, I do. I could ruin you. 
Oh, <laughs> Preston, what's going on here? Now this is who I wanted to see. Dude, we're fine. I wasn't speaking to you. Gloom, are you okay? No, I was telling Preston that I'm not interested and he got really upset and started saying like, who do you think you are? And do you know who I am? I think it's best you leave. Bro, she's crazy and a tease. <gasps> I hate when guys call you a tease just for existing. Like it's, oh, it makes me so mad. Like just because you're smiling and being friendly does not mean you're a tease. Excuse me? I'm throwing water in Preston's face. Bang! How's this for crazy? Watch out. See you later. Damn, girl. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Clearly we misunderstood each other. Clearly, now get out of my sight. Okay, good job. Ooh, I impressed Bentley. Ah. Are you okay? Yeah, thank you for backing me up. Maybe I should have used my words and not my water. Are you kidding me? That was the coolest thing I've ever seen. I mean, it did feel amazing. And I'm glad that you liked it. <laughs> Hopefully he stays away now. Well, if not, I'll just kick his little behind. Seeing him so protective made my skin tingle all over. Looks like the party's winding down. It's a shame. I love this beach, but we didn't get to see my favorite part. The sunset view on that ridge is breathtaking. Well, I mean, we could go now. What do you mean? Let's ditch this party and get you that sunset. It'd be a good chance to get to know each other. <laughs> it would be nice to get away from everyone, even if it's just for a bit. I don't think they'd miss us. And I don't want to miss this kind of opportunity. Glue? You there? Sorry, I was thinking I was daydreaming. I was just us, you know, kissing in the sunset. I'd love to watch the sunset with you. I'm game if you are. No, I don't have gems! Ah! Ah! Terry? Yeah? Any gems? <laughs> Somebody commented on the last video and was like, when your fiance calls you over so she can buy gems to hang out with some virtual guy. And I was like, yeah, what the frick? <laughs> I was like, ooh, that's, yeah, you know what? That's not the, not the best look, but it'll do. Terry, do you get jealous when I ask for gems to hang out with a virtual guy? More just PO'd. <laughs> PO'd. The nice thing about me and Terry is we don't really get jealous. And that's why I don't really believe in girl code is because like if some girl wants to break girl code on me, like... Go ahead and try. Let's go for it. Race you there. Oh, that's so cute. No fair, hey, you got a head start. You have longer legs than me. We're running through the beach. Oh yeah, feeling the wind through my hair. Yeah, yeah. I've got a house with the windows and doors. I'll show you mine, you show me yours. No way you can beat me. Oh yeah? Watch me, I'm the fastest kid in the world, actually. Fastest kid, like ever since the first grade, I just knew. I'm the fastest girl in the world! I've got them fast twitch muscles, boy. Hey! Yeah, well that's what you get for being lanky. Try a little harder. Oh no, she didn't. All right, you're asking for, I was just going easy because you're a girl, but here we go. <laughs> Quarterback sneak! Oh? Oh, she's fast. Oh, I fell. Oh, my head. Oh. oh, good, you're back. Looks like you hit the ground pretty hard. Are you okay? Do you have brain damage? Must have tripped over a turtle or something. Am I in heaven? I must be because I'm looking at an angel. He looks good even waking up from a coma. <laughs> Very funny. Get up, you silly goose. But I like it down here. Maybe you should join me. <gasps> oh, okay. But you're gonna miss the sunset. Wow, I'm blown away. Wow, he's back. Oh. I mean, by the sunset, of course. <laughs> you really can't beat those California sunsets. I agree, now hold my hand, idiot. Oh, can I ask you something? Yeah, sure, what's up? I don't know much about your past, and I didn't ask Poppy yet. I'd rather hear it from you. <gasps> oh, I love that! It's so cute. Oh my goodness, don't you hate when people like Google you before they know you? I hate that because then it's like it's so unfair you know what i mean like especially if you're a youtuber like it's so unfair that somebody can just like google you and know everything about you and it's so cute when people are like you know like i you know didn't google you i just want i want to hear it from you it's just it's such a nice thing even if you're lying about it it's a nice thing to say maybe not now but someday but however you ended up here i'm glad and i'm glad i got to share that sunset with you Oh, that's really sweet family you just know exactly what to say i'm glad to be here too the last few years our family has struggled. Not financially or anything like that, but at keeping together. With me and my dad always working, mom doing country club stuff, like Poppy's been on her own for a while and I'm glad she has a good friend like you to keep her company. To make sure she's on the right path and all that. Your family has been incredibly kind to me. I always feel welcome, like I'm a part of it. We should probably get back. We don't want to miss the carpool back. Okay. Bro, really? We were just connecting. I paid gems for this. Well, whatever, I'm following you. You don't want to trip on any turtles or anything. <laughs> Great. I can't believe I paid for that. I'm puking. I should be keeping track of your drinks. Oh, this is just soda. I don't drink. You're not drinking? 
I'm gonna tell him the truth. The half truth? Okay. I mean, it's better than no truth. No, I don't like to drink. You never drink? No. Is that something so insane that no one can seem to comprehend? Like, no, I can have just as much fun without it. In fact, I have more fun. And like, I don't feel sick at the end of the night. Not at all, but Poppy drinks like a fish. So I just assumed. Poppy and I are nothing alike. I believe you're the one who said that, remember? Oh, I remember. Yeah, oh, oh. is this our first fight? Bentley takes a deep breath and looks behind me towards the sunset. I love being home. The beach makes everything better. It's just so beautiful. The last part he says while looking directly into my eyes. He intensely stares for just a second and then looks away quickly back into the sunset. Ew! Hi, Bentley. I was wondering if we could talk for a minute. Dang, girl, you just ruined my moment that I paid gems for. Well, I'm not jealous, so I'll leave you two alone. As I start to leave, Bentley grabs my wrist and whispers, was that a hint of jealousy I just saw? Um, the exact opposite. Get out of my face. But before I go, I can either say something flirty to Bentley, say something sassy to Victoria, or just leave. I've got the gems, girl. I've got 231. I'm saying something flirty to Bentley. Bang. Don't seem too excited for me to go. I'm only excited when I get to see you. Oh, Victoria, I'm sorry. You were getting owned right in front of your face. I'm literally standing here. Well, don't be too long now. I'll be counting seconds. Is this an act? Bye! <laughs> oh, she has no idea what she does to me. I wish she didn't leave me with this girl. Hello, Earth to Bentley. I've been trying to get your attention all night, handsome. Okay. <laughs> He didn't like that. Ugh, oh, I wish I could just stay in bed today. Oh, Bentley. Um, you should knock, you know? I could have been changing. Well, it's nothing I haven't seen already. Okay, will you stop rubbing that in my face? Are you gonna make me live that down forever? No, but since I've met her, I can't get her out of my mind. Bentley! Hello? What do you want? Oh, I was just wondering what time I have to take you guys to class. Poppy has class at 12 and I have one at one, but I'm meeting a friend at the library beforehand. A friend? Like, a, 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 a a boyfriend? Oh my goodness. What, 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 crap, what was that? Did I actually just ask her that? Oh my goodness. Is the Mr. Bentley Banks jealous? Was I? Is this what jealousy feels like? I've never... Guy like me. Never felt that before. I don't like it. Uh, no. In fact, I was wondering if you could give me Victoria's number. She wanted to meet up with me after the party sometime. Oh, Bentley, are you trying to make me jealous? Ow! I felt a pain go through my heart as her name left his lips. Ah! I just didn't think he was that kind of guy. Oh crap, why did I say that? Now she's gonna think I'm interested in Victoria, but I have to keep my distance. I'm here to keep these two out of trouble. Um, uh, you should ask Poppy. She knows her better than I do. Right, we'll leave in 20 minutes. Okay, you were like super cool, saying all the right stuff. I was fully willing to break girl code for you, but like this is a little immature. Ugh, what was I thinking? Of course Bentley wouldn't be interested in a girl like me. So, how has living with Bentley been? This is Layla, a free-spirited, bright girl that I met last semester, and we've been friends ever since. Love her tattoos as well. I don't get to spend too much time with her out of school because Poppy and her don't get along. Layla is the only other person besides Poppy who knows about my family. Our friendship is very different from Poppy and I's. We have a lot more in common. And her fake freckles are gorgeous. Oh, did I just say fake freckles? Because I like try to do them today. <laughs> Layla is very supportive and she never judges and has the sweetest soul. Poppy's been handling it better than I thought. I remember you saying you thought she'd lock herself in a room until he left. Thankfully, it hasn't been that bad. Bentley's actually been sweet. He totally saved me from Preston at a bonfire. He's not like the pretentious jerks Poppy usually hangs out with. He gets a little bit jealous, yeah, but like, hopefully he'll grow out of it. Wait, hold up a second. You're totally crushing on her. Um, I'm just gonna come right out and tell her. Bang, I'm crushing. Yeah, I want him so bad. He's so cute. See, I knew it. Your eyes light up when you talk about him. It doesn't matter though. He's not into me. Okay, girl, are, are you stupid? You gotta be stupid. Are you sure this isn't you getting into your own head? How could he not be into you? She's right. That's why she's my friend. And I accused him of being jealous this morning and in turn he asked me for a girl's number he met at the bonfire. Girl, come on. He was so trying to make you jealous. I don't think so. He's one of those guys who can have any girls he wants. Well, maybe you're the girl he wants. I've never seen you talk like this about a guy before. I say get your man, girl. Thank you, Layla, for enabling my bad behavior. Well, I have to get to class. Me too. We'll talk soon. Love you, Layla. Hey, girl, how was Glip? Guess what? What? Chad asked me out. Oh, Poppy, you totally would be with Chad. We're going to dinner tonight. Poppy gets asked out by guys all the time, but her standards are so incredibly high that they never even stand a chance. Well, I'm happy for you. Good, because you and Victoria are helping me get ready tonight. Me and Victoria? Yeah, I normally wouldn't even allow her over, but Marissa's busy and I need all the girl power I can get. So, she's only your friend out of convenience. Pretty much. 
<laughs> we hate Poppy, but at least she's honest. Bentley asked me for her number this morning. Ugh, gross. Out of all the girls, Victoria would be the one he goes for. What do you mean by that? Victoria's a man eater. She runs through guys, uses them for what she can, and then moves on to the next. Like, she's like me, but like, not as good at it, you know? She's no good. And that's coming from me. Oh, okay. Maybe she is a little protective of her brother after all. She's probably only after his money. Well, don't you think you should warn him? He is your brother. Step brother. And he's a big boy. He can make his own decisions. Plus, he only really wants her for, you know, eh, eh. so really he's just as bad as her. I think I see his car. Hurry, I have to start getting ready. You know what? I'm not going to get in the way of Victoria one bit. And if he chooses me, he chooses me. Because despite the fact that I don't follow girl code, that doesn't mean that I'm like, I have to be consistent. Because if I don't follow girl code, I should let other girls do what they want too. Is Bentley just as bad as Victoria? Is he the type of guy that's only after one thing? I don't think so, I think he changed. Your hair is perfectly straight. Yeah, it looks amazing. No, it's not good enough. More hairspray. I'll be right back, I have to use the bathroom. Oh, she's going to Bentley's room. Ah, have fun. Something's not right. Girl, I hate, I hate, I do this too, where you're like, oh, it feels like something is like missing from my face and then you keep putting more on to the point where you ruin your face. Like that's me every day. Mascara, I need more mascara. Victoria's been gone a while. I should go check on her. Bring me back some water. I need to stay hydrated. And I'm just like, I can't wear orange. It totally clashes with my eyes. So she had to special order it in turquoise and that took like three weeks. And one time I tried to microwave my own soup and the maid had to clean up the big mess. Well, she sounds lovely. Gloom, thank God. If I had to listen to this girl talk for one more minute, I'd have lost my mind. I mean, what have you been up to? I'm just helping Poppy. I came to find Victoria. You said you were just going to the bathroom. I saw Bentley on the way and must have gotten distracted. Right. Well, Poppy's leaving soon and she needs us to help with the finishing touches. Fine. I'll see you later. Benny. Please don't call me that. Oh, well, uh, talk to you later. Oh, he only lets me call him that. What's so funny? I think you hurt your girlfriend's feelings. Girlfriend, are you crazy? Oh wait, let me guess, you're one of those guys who doesn't do relationships? No, it's not like that. Victoria's just not my type. But I thought you wanted her number this morning. Like, come on. Okay, so it's, it's not that I'm jealous, it's just that something isn't adding up. Oh, no, nah, I, I just said that to mess with you. Oh, well, he's honest. So you were trying to make me jealous. Maybe. Looks like it worked though. You really flatter yourself too much. Poppy said Victoria is after your money. I just thought I'd warn you. I know exactly the type of girl Victoria is. Unfortunately, most of the girls I meet are like that. You know, LA? Ooh. Is that why you don't have a girlfriend? Partially. I also work a lot and I've yet to meet a woman who makes me feel anything special. You've never been in love? No. Have you? In love? No. <laughs> I have a hard time trusting men. If my own father could treat me in such a terrible way, I don't want to think about what a stranger could put me through. Just look at Preston. If that's what all guys are like, I'd rather stay single. I guess that means I repulse you too. Well, sometimes. You know, when you act jealous and stuff. But I'm just kidding. You've actually been really good to me. I catch a whiff of this strong, expensive cologne. It makes me feel warm. It makes me feel cozy, like I can curl up into his chest and his arms wrapped around me and stay there forever. Gloom, where are you? Oh, uh, I should get back. Okay, I have some work to get to anyway. See you later. Bye. Ugh. You look great, girl. Yeah, so gorgeous. He's out front. I better go. Have fun. I expect you home by 12. So, Bentley, I was thinking you and I could order some food and watch a movie. Even though I don't much plan on watching. If you know what I mean. I'm not interested. You should go home. Whoa! Uh, Victoria, I'm sure he didn't mean it. Oh, shut up. This is all your fault. What? How? I'm just, I'm just doing my thing, girl. You should do your thing too. I see the way he looks at you. Are you actually getting mad at me because he has feelings for me? His whole mood is different around you. I don't know what you're talking about. Whatever. You ruined everything. What a jerk. Okay, well, I've got a few people who hate me now. I went to bed right after Poppy left because I didn't have anything better to do. But now my stomach is waking me up. Oh, I'm so hungry. 11.03? Shouldn't eat after seven, but you know me. Breaking rules all the time. Maybe Bentley's still up and he'll want to order food. I'll go look for him. Bentley? Bentley, no one's in his bed. Ben, where did you go? Huh, no one's here. Bentley, are you in your giant massive closet that's the, as big as my childhood home? Hello? It's pretty dark in here and there's no Bentley. What's going on? Ugh, where is this man? Oh shoot, he's on the phone. I don't know what to do. I can't tell her. I've never felt like this before. It's killing me. I should not be listening to this, but I gotta. Oh, I'll call you back. Oh, gloom! Ah, surprise! You got caught. Will Bentley be upset? Let's find out. Oh crap, hold on. Were you spying on me or something? What? No, 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 no. I was hungry and I couldn't sleep, so I came looking for you. How much did you hear? Not much. <laughs> 
<laughs> Good. Just that you can't tell someone something and it's killing you. I'm really honest. I thought you didn't hear much. That isn't much. I don't know what you were talking about. So what exactly were you talking about? Don't you think you're being a little intrusive? I thought you wanted me to be open with you. I'm being inquisitive. Well, if you must know, it was about work. Crap, now I have to think of an excuse. Uh, one of my employees is cheating on his wife and I think it's wrong to not tell her. Oh, how noble. I think she bought it. I don't buy it, but I guess it's none of my business. So I'll just take my intrusive butt back to bed. No, wait, I thought you were hungry. I'll order pizza. I think they're still open. Pizza, did you say? I guess we'll stay up together. 30 minutes later, we are biting our big fat pepperoni pizzas. I'm upset though, because I told him I like basil pineapple and he won't do it. But it's still good. Yum. Well, I'm looking forward to the country club event on Saturday. Oh, I completely forgot about that. What is this stupid country club event? It's not just any stupid country club event. Well, I don't get how that makes it any less stupid. I'm competing on a team. Charity and giving back is something I'm really passionate about. And I'm super competitive, so I have to crush the competition. How do you crush someone in golf? It's so boring. Like, you are such a rich kid. Boring? Golf is a game about discipline and precision. It may look boring, as you said, but it is far from a simple and easy game. Whoa, okay, calm down, Tiger Woods. I hope you'll be cheering me on. So you want me to be your cheerleader? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, never mind. That would be too distracting. What's that supposed to mean? You're distracting! I mean, look at you. I've barely gotten any work done since I got here. I can't focus around you for some reason. I'm gonna sass him a little. Maybe you should learn how to. Is that a little sass? I can give you more sass if that'll help you focus. Less would be better. So now you're saying you want to see less of me. I didn't say that either. I just think about you often. Well, I'd rather you not think of me as a distraction that is so demeaning to call me a human being a distraction. Well, what would you have me think of you as then? Person, maybe? Not just an object of desire? I don't think of you that way. You don't, huh? I mean, I'm teasing you, idiot. I get it. I'm distracting and about to start some serious drama at the country club. You're distracting in a good way. I take a second to study his beautiful bright eyes, trying to figure out what exactly he means by that. <gasps> Poppy! Hey, losers! You're back! How was it? Well, that's my cue to go. Good night. Anyway, I'm so excited for my date with Chad. I really like him. Well, I'm so happy for you. I totally think he could be the one. The one? Or is this just your first date? What are you saying? Nothing. I just don't want you to get hurt. I know what I'm doing. Just be happy for me for once. I am. I just want the best for you. Oh my goodness. Defensive. Whatever. I'm going to bed. Okay. Wow. Unstable. Look at my outfit though, girl. That is nice. Oh, you look amazing. What do you think of my outfit? I wore my best for you. Um, I'm gonna be honest. It's not my favorite. I'm moving on. They're fine. If Poppy isn't ready in 20 minutes, we're leaving without her. My team and I have to practice and I can't be late. I'll go pressure along. Royal Lakes Country Club and Golf Course. Look at all of these rich people. Do you know what car? costs like $300,000 a year to have a membership here. Like this is hoity toity. Oh, and Victoria's here and we're wearing the same top in different colors. Oh, can this thing start already? Where's Bentley? He's getting ready to compete. So Gloom, are you excited for the next weekend? Excited for what? You forgot? Gloom, it's Marissa's birthday weekend, remember? Oh yeah, of course I didn't forget that. I mean, I'm definitely keeping track of these rich people and all of their rich people events like this one. I totally forgot though. I can't wait. I have so many fun things planned for the weekend. Will Bentley be coming? Hot Victoria, is that all you care about? Yeah, ever since he's been back, that's all you talk about. Bentley this, Bentley that. Just give it up, girl. He hasn't asked you out yet. He's probably just not that into you. Like, take a hint. You guys don't have to be such jerks about it. Him and I have something special. I'm not giving up on it. Is she delusional? Whatever, Victoria, do what you want. Just stop obsessing over him. It makes you look desperate, and I can't be seen hanging out around desperate people. Oh, and speaking of boys, I see Chad on the golf course. And Harvey's here. <laughs> Let's go wish them luck. Look at these rich boys golf. I see Harvey over there. I'll be right back. Oh, she's a cutie. I love Marissa. <laughs> I'm gonna go get an Arnold Palmer. Bye. <sighs> hey, Glue, would you mind spotting me real quick? Spotting you? I don't even know what golf is. I need some help with my form. Maybe you can give me some pointers. Is he just doing this to make Victoria jealous? She's right there. I'd love to help, sure. But are you sure I won't be too distracting? I don't want to get in your head too much. It's hard to find alone time with Bentley with Poppy around all the time. I'd love to get some time away with him. Are you kidding me? You keep my mind on the game. You're contradicting yourself again. I'm not the best player out here. Well, I could give you a private lesson right now if you'd like. You just asked me to spot you! Oh no, golfing with THE Bentley Banks? I can almost smell his cologne. Imagine his chest bump up against my back. Oh girl! His chin on my shoulder. It was too much! I used a caddy for my dad. I could warm you up, Bentley. Maybe you can show me parts of the club. Like the shaft and the head. Oh! Oh! Oh, Victoria! Oh! Uh, uh, I'm gonna let Victoria have him. Whatever will be, will be. I'm a girl code breaker and therefore, I just can't hold other girls to this high standard if I don't hold it to myself. He's free game. If you win, you win. Maybe I can take a stroke off of my game.
name. All right, Victoria, come along. Hi, Poppy. I see Preston over there. Go talk to him. I told you I'm not interested in Preston. I told him at the bonfire it's never gonna happen. Listen, I thought you could take a hint, but you know you're not a part of this world, right? If you want to stay part of this world, you're gonna have to marry someone who can keep you here. Ouch. You can't live with me forever. Right now, I'm the only thing keeping you from living in the streets. Oh, ouch. But at the same time, like... Poppy really cares for me. It's very misguided for her to tell me to like marry a rich guy, but like she wants me to stay here. She wants me to run in this circle forever. Of course, like the girls and everyone loves you, but they're not as generous as I am. I'm just trying to help. Preston is your best chance of keeping a life like this. I know you like the lifestyle. You got a taste of it and I want you to have it forever. Now you understand what I'm trying to do, right? Oh, I guess. Great, love you, sweetie. I'm gonna talk to Chad. I mean, she is so nice. She's such a good friend. I'm not usually someone who cries, but I used to have all my tears when I left home. But I'm trying so hard to hold back from bursting right now. I know Poppy's right. I know I don't belong in this world and I know I can't live with her forever. This is like a dream. Her words were so harsh, so sharp, and they cut me like butter. And trying to dump me off onto some rich jerk is not something a real friend would do. Ah. I disagree. I just think she's not very smart. And like, this is her way of caring. Who said I want to be a part of this world anyway? Most of these people aren't even genuinely happy. Newsflash, being a wealthy socialite isn't everyone's end game. There's many more important things in life. Oh God, it's you again! Hey Gloom, I was wondering if we could talk. Not now, Preston. I just want to apologize. Apologize? I did not see that coming from you. Yeah, I don't do this often, so bear with me. I'm so sorry for how I acted at the bonfire. No one should ever act like that, and I'm sorry I made you uncomfortable. I hope you can forgive me. I appreciate that, that's so nice. But it almost seems like, you know, Bonfire Preston is like the true Preston and this is like the country club Preston who's trying to like smooth things over in a very artificial way. Maybe you can give me a second chance over dinner? Preston, you and me are never gonna happen. I appreciate your apology, but maybe we can just try to be friends. Oh, and he rolls his eyes. Bentley, I thought you were with Victoria. What's going on here? I thought I already told you to leave her alone. It's not like that, dude, I'm just apologizing. It's fine, Bentley, I'll, I'll see you around. Oh, I mean, I can't, I'm on the fence. I don't know if I buy it or not. I thought I was really gonna have to kick his butt. What's wrong? Did he hurt you? No, it's not that. It's just... Then what? You can tell me. Poppy just said some not so nice things to me. Oh, do you want to know how I really feel? Of course. Screw her! Oh, I've never understood why you're friends with her. Poppy and I have never been close. She's a spoiled, pretentious snob who doesn't care about anybody except herself. Her mother doesn't even love my father, but that's a topic for a different time. You're so amazing and funny and sweet, and you have more heart in your left thumb than she has in her entire body. She doesn't deserve a friend like you. Oh, jeez. I can feel my eyes start to burn. Tears push themselves from my eyes. His words hit me right in my chest, right in my heart. No one has ever stuck up for me before. No one has ever protected me before. Yet, here he is, Bentley Banks looking out for me, giving me the pep talk I've always needed. I can't help it. I can't contain myself. I can no longer hold back from bursting. I'm sorry. I have to go. Glue, wait. All golf teams, please meet out front. The tournament's starting. Oh, crap. I needed to get away from everyone. I really wanted to watch the golf game for Bentley, but I needed to be alone to clear my thoughts. I was just so overwhelmed with Poppy's harsh words, Preston's apology, Bentley's pep talk. It was a lot for me to take in, but after taking a step back, I feel a little better. Ugh, looks like the golf game is over. I wonder who won. Congratulations to the winning team. They'll be donating $200,000 to the charity of their choice. Who? That was a big stakes golf game. Oh great, everyone's coming back now. Hi Poppy. Okay, so I know that our character in this game was really offended and hurt by what Poppy did, but I kind of see both sides. I don't think that what she did was the morally right thing to do, but I think that it's the best thing she was capable with her tiny brain of doing. What's up with all the wedding decorations? Oh my goodness, it's the only wedding of the year. Don't you know? Oh, and also Gloom, you missed the game. Where have you been? I'm gonna tell her the truth. You hurt my feelings. You said some mean stuff. I wouldn't call it mean, but whatever. It hurt my feelings. The truth hurts sometimes. Bentley's team won. That's great. I'm gonna get a drink. I'm coming with. I'm gonna wait for Bentley so I can be the first to congratulate him. Knock yourself out. Have fun with that. Congratulations, Bentley. You really golfed those balls. Uh, thanks. Have you seen Gloom? I can smell no money. It's over there. Thanks. Excuse me. Oh, Bentley. Congratulations. Thank you, but it was a bit hard for me to focus. I couldn't stop thinking about how I made you cry. I'm so sorry. I, I shouldn't have- Bentley, you didn't make me cry. I was just so overwhelmed with Poppy and Preston and the things you said. Your words really touched me and I appreciate you being there for me. You have no idea how much it means to me. Like, 
Really? Oh, uh, I thought you were upset with me. Seeing you cry really hurt my heart. I'll always be there for you. No matter what happens between you and Poppy, you will always have a place with me. I, I, oof, I need to slow down. Oh, I don't want to scare her away. Well, thank you, Bentley. Always. There you go, Bentley. Short and sweet. Less is more, right? What's with all the tuxedos? Hey, what are you two doing here? Excuse me? The reception's almost starting. Aren't you two supposed to be in your seats? Oh, of course. Just give us a second. Whose wedding is this? What do you say? Let's make up for it and have some fun dancing. Imagine it. Ah, we could dress up fancy, yeah. We could eat delicious cake. We could go all the way. I mean, we could dance our troubles away. Freudian slip. I could use a good dance to celebrate right now. Sneaking into the wedding with Bentley would be perfect. We're doing it. Let's go. Yes, of course. Our deepest apologies. Will you show us the way? Follow me. I'll escort you to your seats. But chance, can you change into some formal wear? There's a dressing room by the ballroom. Sounds great. We're crashing a wedding? Yeah! Ooh, Bentley looks good. This tux fits incredibly well. Of course, sir. This dress will look stunning on your companion. I'm excited to see it. Oh my. It's not what I would choose, but it's something. Matching shoes, pretty good. Ooh, she didn't get a pedicure. Ooh. What? You look amazing. Let's head over the to Let's go. Perfect. Well, let's go. Let's get it. Your seats, sir and ma'am. Thank you. Well, hello. What a lovely young couple. How do you know the bride and groom? Uh. We're old friends from college. You went to Oxford as well. My husband teaches there. He actually had Blake as one of the students. Did you ever take Archaeology 201? Yes, actually, that's where me and my wife, Laura... Laura. Laura, Laura Craft. <laughs> yes, Laura. And I'm Jones, Montana Jones Craft. A pleasure to meet you, Laura and Montana. I'm Daisy, like the flower. I'm Blake's great aunt. I don't seem to know too many people here, so it's a marvel to make new friends. Oh, we're getting big trouble for going here. Laura Craft is the best I could come up with. Bentley, I mean, Montana and I spent the next few minutes chatting with Daisy. Bentley has such an easygoing way about him. He fits in everywhere. He's such a good faker. It makes you think, you know, like that's why serial killers get away with so much is because like, I feel like Bentley could lie about everything. People like him the second and they see him, they feel like they can tell him anything and he'll hear them. I don't know if I trust that, to be honest, but he makes me feel special. It seems they're doing speeches, Montana. Would you care to make one for Blake? Oh, I'll help you out. Just stand and start talking. All right, here we go. Blake's gonna be like, I don't know that guy. <clears throat> Thank you everyone for coming out today. What a beautiful crowd. <laughs> Blake and I have been friends since college. We met in our archaeology class, Archaeology 201 with Mr. Dukes. Although his lectures were long and boring, spending hours on end in that tiny room with you, laughing over old kings and new kingdoms, the class made all the difference. Blake has been a great, great friend to me over the years, and I hope to continue our friendship and maybe have their kids play together one day. And on that note, cheers to Blake and cheers to the new couple. Oh, that went well. Oh, <laughs> this Blake! I have no idea who that guy is! He gave a heck of a speech. I feel like it would have been better if, like, he just said, like, I'm Bentley Banks and I'm an important dude and I'm here to eat cupcakes and whatever, but we are just dancing the night away. We're enjoying ourselves. Easy step. See? You got it. I can teach you how to dance because I can tell no one ever taught you. Hey, you're not so bad yourself. What do you think everyone's story is here? This looks like a new couple. He's trying to impress her, but it looks like she's got eyes for someone else. Or just isn't enjoying it. I think either way, they're breaking up tonight. Yo, we're people watching. What do you think? I think the one on the left is the brother. And the other one is his friend that he just dragged along. Maybe the brother is excited that his sister is getting married. I think maybe the friend is actually in love with the groom. Look at those jealous eyes. And then, of course, is she the kindly aunt, we believe? Or did she murder her husband for money? I think that's the husband. He's given a weird look. Hey, man, great speech. How do I know you again? College? Honey, would you look at the time? We gotta go. We'll, let's, let's dip, let's dip, 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 dip. We gotta get out of here as quick as we can. Oh, we got away with it. Well, that was fun. Looks like we didn't miss too much. Oh, crap. What? My father's here. Oh, I get to meet the dad? Oh, he's gorgeous. I don't know how many codes I'm about to break, but dang, this one's getting broken. Hello, Gloom. Hi, Mr. Banks. How are you? I'm well. Thank you for asking. Can I speak to my son for a moment? Of course. Oh, is he gonna mess everything up? Congratulations on the win. Thanks. I didn't know you'd be here. It was a last minute decision. I need to speak with you about your performance. You've been slacking lately. I know I should be listening to my father, but I can't focus on anything but her. Her citrus scented shampoo. Is that herbal essences? Oh, I can't fight it anymore. She's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Are you even listening to me, son? Yeah, sorry, dad. I've just been distracted. It's her. You have a crush on Poppy's friend? You can't take your eyes off of her. Your mother told me there was someone. You talked to mom? We have to keep in contact. So what is it? How far has it gone? Have you done it? Attraction? More? Whoa, dad, we haven't done anything. She doesn't even know, I don't think. Well, she's a bit young for you, but she's a good girl. Hasn't been in any trouble at all. What do you know about her? Where are her parents? Why has she been living with Poppy? I don't know much. Poppy refused to tell me. All I know is that she came from a rough place. See, this is what I'm saying. Poppy is a good friend. 
and she just doesn't have enough brain cells to be the caring friend that I would need. When she first moved in, she had bruises all over her body and she couldn't sleep because of night terrors. I guess she's much better now. Bruises? From what? I don't know. I was reluctant to let her move in at first. I thought she was bad news and the wrong crowd or something, but it turns out she's been a good influence for little Poppy. When Poppy was arrested, Gloom didn't have any alcohol in her system and was trying to help the cops get Poppy under control. Anyway, I want you to be happy, son, but you can't forget your responsibilities. I know, I'll focus, I promise. Good. I'm gonna greet some people. I'll see you later. Oh, what a good dad! Bruises? Night terror? What happened to her? Oh, it's Victor- What are you doing in the house? Bentley, I was wondering if you wanted to get out of here. Maybe grab a bite to eat, a movie. Victoria, you, me, never gonna happen. Oh, better see yourself out. I will not give up! Hey, I've been looking for you. I just needed some air. Marissa and Poppy won't stop talking about next weekend. Right. Marissa's birthday weekend extravaganza. I can see I really hope you're going, but I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna be chill. Are you going? I guess, you know, since I have to look after Poppy. And I don't think I'd be able to spend a weekend away from you. Oh, crazy! That's crazy! And I think I just saw Preston! He's still bothering you? Well, he apologized, but right after he asked me to dinner. Oh, Victoria isn't getting the hint either. Well then, make me your girlfriend, otherwise I'm definitely gonna, you know, entertain my options. Hmm, I have an idea. What? Let's pretend that you and I are together. No! Why would we pretend? Are you crazy? If Victoria and Preston think that we're together, maybe they'll leave us alone. Why don't you just ask me to be your girlfriend then? What about Poppy? She'll know we're lying. We don't have to tell her. It'll just be in front of Preston and Victoria until they leave us alone. I mean, that'll work, but like, let's do it. Oh my goodness, these are not the decisions I would make. Bentley leans forward, his mouth barely an inch away from mine. What are you doing? I was just about to kiss my girlfriend. N fake girlfriend. It's just in front of Victoria and Preston. You're not gonna take advantage of the situation. Oh, right, idiots. Come on, can't be mad at a guy for trying. Yeah, shut up, you idiot, I hate you. Oh crap, they're coming. Hey, Gloom, uh, I was hoping I could talk to you. Ooh, Preston hates him. Alone? Can I talk to you alone? Anything you need to say to my girlfriend, you can say it in front of me. Girlfriend? Huh? Yeah, we're together now. You can't be serious. Oh, we're very serious, right, babe? Yep, so you can leave us alone now. We're happily taken. Spoken for. Whatever. Something's fishy here. Not in the slightest. Okay. Oh my goodness, did you see Victoria's face? I think she might murder us in our sleep. Oh, Preston. Preston, wait. What? Something's up. I don't believe them. I've been trying to get with her for a year, but he rolls in a few weeks ago and they're already dating? How is this possible? I've never been turned down before. I love Bentley and that little dog, that little female dog will not get between him and I. Victoria, you say that about every guy. Bentley is different. We belong together. We need to keep them away from each other. We'll need backup. Call Chanel. Chanel. You don't want to call Chanel. That's a mess right there. Chanel, whew, she's trouble. Well, that was episode two and three of uh, Crossing the Line with my brother, with my friend's brother. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you'd like me to continue it. I don't know, I feel like it's kind of simmered down. You know what I mean? I feel like it's simmered down since the first time we played it. That being said, I wasn't gonna continue it. You guys talked me into it. Here we are. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you push notifications and I'll see ya on the next one. Bye.